Gamete formation can cause variation in the following ways. A process called crossing over, another process called independent assortment. Yes, I hope you are fine, wherever you are watching this from. Lesson number 91. We are going to talk about causes of variation. Before that, we need to understand the meaning of variation and types of variation. Variation has been derived from the term vary, which means to differ. Then variations are differences. The definition of this term variation is differences that are exhibited amongst living organisms. Those differences may range from behavioral characteristics and physical characteristics. There are two types of variation. One, continuous variation. Two, discontinuous variation. I had already tackled this and I'm going direct to the causes of variation. Generally, variation may be caused by genetic factors or environmental factors. For example, an individual who has been born by a parent who had some conditions such as diabetes mellitus whereby the pancreas cannot secrete enough insulin hormone, then there is a possibility of transmitting these genes to the young one. So that individual who has been born by such a parent may also suffer from this disease. It is a genetically inherited disease. In some cases, talking of variation in terms of the physical body characteristics and temperament, you may find that there are organisms which inherit characteristics such as tallness, dwarfness, body size from their parents. So, you find that since they have inherited these characteristics, they may end up varying from those others that did not inherit the same characteristics even though they may be coming from the same parent. An example, two boys who have inherited some characteristics from their father. The father is tall but is dark-skinned. So you find that there is one who is tall but light-skinned like the mother. Then there is another one who is dwarf but dark-skinned like the father. These two offsprings have something in common that they are both boys, but they are varying in terms of their, uh, of their heights and the skin color. Why? There is variation that we are going to explain that has occurred which has led to this. That is based on genetic factor. Based on environmental factor also, we can take an example of two organisms. Let me talk of the animals. Maybe some are found in the desert while some stay in cold regions with uh, too much rainfall throughout the year. So you find that this organism which is found in a terrestrial ecosystem while another one is found in a xerophytic ecosystem where there is no rainfall, this one that is in a cold area will end up having a thick layer of subcutaneous fats, a thick layer of fats called subcutaneous layer which is under the skin so as to preserve body heat. This may make this organism definitely to grow fatter and fatter. For the other organism which lives in desert may have a thin layer of subcutaneous fats those are fats that are found under the skin they may be thin why so that the rate of uh, the rate at which heat is eliminated into the external environment is high to prevent itself from being its cells from being denatured so such kind of variation you find that even if they were identical twins from the same parent taken to different environment with varied climatic zones 
you find that there are some variations which may they may start to encounter as a result of environmental factor in some cases you may be having both genetic and environmental factor causing variation today i'm going to explain how gamete formation cause variation and remember there are three causes of variation that is gamete formation fertilization and mutation today i'm only going to explain how gamete formation cause variation but next time i'll explain how those other ones cause variation so let's start gamete formation take place during the process called meiotic cell division meiotic cell division occur in gametes male gametes are called sperm cells while the female gametes are called ova singular ovum in these gametes the process of cell division may take place hence resulting to formation of some daughter cells which have half the number of chromosomes as the parent cells but i'm not going into details of that i had already explained it in meiotic cell division so gamete formation can cause variation in the following ways a process called crossing over another process called independent assortment let me start with crossing over and variation crossing over refers to the process whereby genes are transmitted from one chromosome to the other that exchange of genes is called crossing over how does it occur during Process 1 of meiosis, homologous chromosomes associate, meaning they come in contact with one another. When they come in contact with one another, we refer to that as a bivalent pair. Bi means two. Valent means in close contact with. So a bivalent pair refers to two homologous chromosomes which have come into contact with one another. The point at which they come into contact with one another is called chiasma. If they are many, we may call them chiasmata. At the chiasma, there is the process of crossing over. Crossing over is exchange of genetic material as I had explained it earlier. Let's look at this diagram. I'm going to use it in explaining how this process of exchange of genetic material may occur. Let's look at this. At the beginning, we are having two homologous chromosomes. Remember, this takes place in the phase called Profess 1 of meiotic cell division. So, we are having two homologous chromosomes here. I hope you can see them. I have used different colors so as to bring the difference between the two chromosomes. Those colors represent the genes that they carry. In Profess 1 of meiotic cell division, that is at this second step, they have come into contact with one another. We call it association. So, these two are called the bivalent pair. That bivalent pair may lead to exchange of genetic material at a point called chiasma. This point here is referred to as chiasma and there is exchange of genetic material. When you look at these last ones here, they have some variations from how they used to look like initially before the process of crossing over took place. Look at this lower part to point at which they were in contact with one another. You realize that there are some colors which have been interchanged. Those are denoting the genes that have been changed from one chromosome to the other. You can see this one here has obtained some genes which was in this other one, while this one also obtained the other genes. So the end result is two chromosomes with different characteristic from how they used to look like initially. The point here is that exchange of 
genetic material may cause variation. Let's take for example a man who may be producing up to 1 million sperm cells. And in these sperm cells the process of crossing over took place until we are having different types of chromosomes. Definitely we may be having these 1 million gametes with totally different characteristics from one another. What caused it? Crossing over. And therefore, this may lead to what we call genetic combinations. The genes here have been combined with the other ones that do not look like them, with other ones that they were not close to initially. Hence, an organism which may result from this chromosome will be slightly different from an organism arising from this other chromosome. Those are the variations which may involve height, skin color, body size, among many others. The second way through which gamete formation may cause variation is called independent assortment. Independent assortment refers to the fact that arrangement of homologous chromosomes at the equator of the cell or at the equator of the spindle fibers is done at random. For example, when the process of crossing over has taken place, these chromosomes will just align at the equator of the cell randomly. Remember, this process takes place during metaphase of meiotic cell division, metaphase 1 and even metaphase 2. They arrange themselves at the equator randomly. When uh, the cell is dividing, these two chromosomes separate towards different poles of the cell. Hence, they will be present in different gametes at last. Those gametes may not be having a constant type of characteristic, but they vary from one another. Let's look at this diagram once again to see how independent assortment may be achieved. Initially here we are having a gamete. This gamete is yet to go through the process of division. So at the point of metaphase, those chromosomes have aligned themselves at the equator of the cell, it was done at random and there are some chromosomes you can see here which were close to one another but here they are further from one another. When division occurs at this point, they end up forming different types of gametes with different characteristics. That is another way that may also cause variation. No wonder brothers may not look exactly alike. There are some slight differences amongst them, which is caused by different genetic combinations. That is, combination of genes from different chromosomes. That is the end of lesson number 91. Let's meet in the next lesson where I'm going to explain how the process of fertilization causes variation. Thank you for watching the video. Remember to subscribe. Bye.